like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So after all the cleaning, then we're back on track. Okay. We have a couple of new subscribers to welcome. And this one's kind of a long name. It's Scott-Jenny. And then in quotes, Scott-Jenny, or Scott-Jenny, active videos. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Washer8. Welcome to the neighborhood. Greg Myers, update on his cousin Brian, who's been in the hospital with uh, pancreatitis or a pancreas infection. Um, he is doing really, really good. So, thumbs up to that. Glad to hear that, Greg. All right. And then, remember I said I was going to start giving five channels that I watch, because I watch a lot of channels, guys, a lot. Um, five channels, a shout out. Today, they're RFS Dan. Awesome, awesome channel. You guys got to go check them out. He also does Periscope on uh, Twitter. Very funny guy. Very funny guy. Um, Skits Famous, which is Josh and Sarah from Meet the Presleys, who were here for our party, our YouTube party. Um, they do skits, and it's, it's really so, so funny. They do skits like My Imaginary Friend, um, How Do You Tell Somebody They Have Bad Breath, you know, they're, they're like kind of real life situations, but they make funny little skits of them. So it's really an amazing, amusing and amazing channel. So go by and check it out. All these channels will be leaving links. Daily Rambles. I love Dawn from Daily Rambles. She, most of it, her, her video, um, she, well, she's on vacation right now, but most of her video is in her car going to and from work, um, getting her foods prepared for work. She's on a journey right now because a couple years ago she did a um, bathing suit um, body contest, and um, she is back into trying to get fit and back into that again. Me too. So <laughs> so she she's awesome and she has pictures um, she showed pictures in one of her vlogs of what she looked like when she she competed two years and what she looked like before she started, when she competed and and now she's she's doing it again. So she's she's really very healthy. Um, eats very healthy and has lots of tips and everything. And she's funny as heck, I'm telling you. So, Daily Rambles. Go check her out. Oh, Rio family. They are an awesome family from Hawaii. We're going to be doing a swap with them as soon as we get settled down a little bit from a lot of things that's been going on. When is that going to <laughs> But they are an awesome family. Um, you may have seen their son, Bryce Lee, do one of our nibbling with the neighbors he did the um, minecraft pizza so but they're an awesome family go check them out and another channel that we were extremely surprised that he subscribed to us because he's a pretty big channel um but <laughs> he he's amazing he the things he does to his body the things he does to himself <laughs> Ah, oh, I don't understand it. Um, one Blazing Eagle One. If you're not already subscribed to him, go and subscribe and check it out. Well, we should be encouraging him. <laughs> He's gonna end up killing himself. <laughs> I always ask him after he's done, like, he'll, he'll drink something or, uh, how are you feeling, you know, <laughs> so, but, uh, it is a good channel, and he, he's... He does the challenges, and then he'll show you the aftermath, I like those. Yeah, 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 like the so... The one, that was... Yeah. I dropped my book, I'll be right back. You dropped your book? Yes. Oh, look, everybody, I'm, I'm wearing a zombie today. See, I'm wearing a zombie. Melody bought me a zombie necklace. Zombie dog tag, sorry. It's a zombie dog tag. Okay, my question the other day was, are you a creature of habit? 
and explain. Explain, explain. Okay. And uh, out of breath. Tanya Longley. Absolutely, I'm a creature of habit. I seem to follow the same routine every day and get upset if it gets messed up. I'd say, Tanya, you might be a tad bit OCD. <laughs> okay, Crimson Fairy, <clears throat> creature of habit. Hmm, yes and no, she says. There are some things I do by habit, like schedule things, because I need to make sure I don't double book my time. She is always busy, so yes, she does need to do that all the time. But she does like to do things on a whim. So, pretty cool. Uh, Dougie Style. I guess I'm a creature of habit. I keep going to the auction even though I rarely bid on anything. Also, I tune to the same channel, the DIY network, on my cable box just before turning it off. Don't ask me why, I just do. Doug, I think you are a tad bit OCD. Um, Bambi, Bambi S. Uh, every day can be different for me based on what my kiddo does that day. He can be good one day, but down the next with his GI issues. The only sure thing is that I have my coffee in the morning and when all is good, I look to see what the neighbors have put up on YouTube. Yay! Tracy Quick. I guess I'm a creature of habit, or as I am getting older, I'm starting to be. But I still like to do whatever I want, whenever I want. For example, all my bills have to be paid on the same day of the month. If not, it just throws me off balance. So is your, your checking account off balance, too, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> if I didn't have Knuckles, which is her cute little dog, so, so cute, um, I wouldn't have any type of schedule. So, yeah, I guess my answer is I'm a creature of habit. So, um, that's everybody I'm going to read. Are you a creature of habit? No. And I have to agree with the Bambi besides the coffee in the morning. I'm not a creature of habit. And I don't get that every morning. That well, bugs me. Your coffee? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have my coffee. Are you Am I a creature of habit? I am very much so a creature of habit. And having these surgeries that I've had recently has taken me out of my routine completely. And it has driven me so insane. I am a creature of habit, but I am also severely OCD, so I think most people who's OCD would be a creature of habit, wouldn't you say? So. Okay, my question for tonight has to do with a question previously. What, what trend do you wish would come back in style? Right? Yep. Okay. So, it is now time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. It's about time. How long is this thing? Oh, jeez. Okay. So, yesterday's question was about uh, James Wan. Two days ago. Oh, yeah. It was two days ago because yesterday was uh, a little bit of a blur. Told you he drank too much. So, James Wan, like a lot of directors, has a trademark. He's something that he, uh, you'll always see in his movies. Uh, he has a, uh, a doll that shows up in his movies. And um, it's not necessarily a ventriloquist doll, but it, it, for many movies it was Billy the Puppet from his first movie, Saw. Let's play a game. So he would, uh, he would show up in all of his movies in one way or another. Like in Insidious, it's uh, drawn on the chalkboard behind the uh, the husband in the classroom. Um, the first movie that didn't have Billy the puppet in it was The Conjuring, which he directed. But it had another puppet in it, or actually a doll. It had uh, Annabelle. And 
those people who got that right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Bambi S, and Cole Today. Woohoo! Okay, today's question is about Poltergeist 1982. Ooh, good movie. There they, just, they just remade that, and I'm looking forward to seeing it, actually. And that was, it had uh, Joe Beth Williams in it. Joe Beth Williams used to tell a story over and over again, saying that they used real bodies in the oh. cool scene. They used real bodies, and I, I kept saying, they, they wouldn't use real bodies. Where are they going to get real bodies? But it turns out that she's kind of right. They, they were using real human skeletons in the scene. Why? And how, and how is that connected to uh, 1985 uh, Return of the Living? Good question. Good question. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. And I got through it. <laughs> How many takes was it? <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all. <sighs> he gets so, so tired of my heart. <laughs> we love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff that we do. Sorry we didn't put a nibbling up this week, but we will put it up next week. And we will see you all 